Hey guys, Rev and Evan here. We're out in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we're in the Ford Performance booth out here at the PRI show. I've got my man Dave Borden with me. And we're checking out the 2018-2019 um, crate engine, Coyote crate engine, 5.0. And in our quest to Coyote swap the world, this is something that's necessary, crate engines, right? But the big thing is what transmission are you gonna put behind it? You could go with a stick, you could go with automatic. But you always wanna run the latest greatest, right? Absolutely. Why not be able to Absolutely. run the best? And right. right now the best is the 10 speed. Right. But in, you know, until recently you had to do your own transmission tuning if you were gonna to try to put the six speed or the 10 speed automatic in your car. Now Ford is gonna offer something that's gonna right. make it really easy for you to put a Coyote or a 10 speed automatic in anything you want, whether right. it's a street rod, right. a Galaxy, a yeah. Fox Body, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. What made you do this? What were the challenges? And right. how does somebody go about doing this? Yeah, so you know, with the last gen engine, the Gen 2, we came out with a, what we call a power module, right? So okay. it's a couple in the engine, a transmission, and then our control system. So, like you said, you can take all that, stick it in whatever you want, and right. have it be Coyote powered. Mm -hmm. um, we come out with the, uh, we started with the manual, right? The manual's a little less work for us, a little bit easier to do. Right. So we started there and we've had, we've been shipping those for quite some time. But the automatic version, uh, you know, finished up that work, got all the parts in, and we just started shipping those really in the last month or so. Right. Um, and they're, they're flying off the shelves as fast as we can put them on them, right? We think that's going to be a really popular item. Like you said, you, you look at the new Mustang, um, the automatic's the way to go, right? I mean, these things are these things are just really cranking out the 60 foot times and a quarter oh, yeah. miles, and they're super popular in the car. And we, you know, we just can't wait to see the customers get these and put them in whatever their uh, dream project is and see what it can do there. So, yeah, really good all, stuff. It's a lot of fun. So you know, with a stick, a lot of guys, girls and like man. to grab their own gears. Sure. You like to use the clutch. You kind of you're one right. with the car. Right. <clears throat> the 10 speed is hard to beat in the fact that it's geared beautifully. Yeah. It shifts seamlessly. Yeah. Um, but it is dependent on being controlled properly, right? right. If, it, if right. you don't have seamless operation, if it's right. clunky when it downshifts, yeah. or it, yeah. you come to a traffic light, and you know now you have an automatic, so right. it doesn't right. uncouple like a clutch. Right. So, it's, so we have to take all that into account, and you know it's going into a different vehicle, right? So we have to kind of try and make this as generic as it can okay. to be in a 2,000-pound vehicle or a 6,000-pound vehicle, right? Right. You know, so we we try to be really careful and. and, and um, make it so that it'll you know be nice for for any any user and obviously you're putting this not in the Mustang that it first came in right um, different sensors different body modules you know all, all these different things that it doesn't yeah. see these inputs for right so we, there's just some challenges to work your way around how to get this thing to work smooth without those other without those other sensors and things so a lot of development time went into you know putting this in a car uh, disconnecting all those items and then trying to work through all those challenges right so we're you know really happy with the product that we ended up with here it's you know it's I think 95% of what it would be in a Mustang um, but it's certainly going to be a really great product for guys putting them in their old fair lanes or galaxies or wherever they choose to put it um, the idea with these power modules right we came out with it on the, on the last gen and it was really the, the thought there was the cruiser guy right the guy okay. with his 60s car that's cruising Woodward or wherever it is that he's going with it um, not, not, didn't really think of it as you know a, a, a racing type application, right? But we're finding more and more the, the customers that are calling that are using these things. They want to stick it in the race car, right, and go use that, sure. which is awesome, right? It wasn't wasn't really what we intended, but it, 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 the performance on this thing is so good that, uh, that it's turned out to be a really great application for it too. So it's really good stuff. Well, I mean, if you think about it, if you could go 1180s at 120 in a bone stock 2018, 19, right. or 20 Mustang right. GT right. with uh, with this engine and this yeah. transmission and yeah. stock trim, right. if you slid this into a Fox body exactly. at a thousand pounds lighter, right. you'd have an instant 10 second car with complete OE drivability. Exactly. And then if you went and put one of your superchargers on top, yeah. Yeah. you'd have probably that. have a nine second car Absolutely. with perfect drivability exactly. I mean right. and that would be something that would be really cool the good old days are now man yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean stuff's awesome how smooth it is how great it runs starts and drives and it's, it's really the technology is amazing and it's I love seeing people put these things in there you know whatever it's right like you said a Fox body Mustang they drive great you know it doesn't yeah it doesn't, you know it's tuned well I mean it's just it's really cool yeah, and I mean, you know, you see some of these guys have gone even tens, naturally aspirated now. They're, right. they're sneaking right. pretty good into the tens yeah. um, with some E85 and maybe headers and a tune. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, 
To have this transmission connected to that engine to be able to swap it to me yeah. is really cool. And I'm a stick guy. I like grabbing yeah, the gears. Too. I am too, <laughs> but I think, this is, I think this thing's awesome. Yeah. Like I said, I can't wait to see these things show up in people's cars. And That's going to be fun. For it. Yeah, cool. For sure. Thanks a lot, Dave. Yeah, awesome. Always great to see you. Good talking to you.